John Wayne was a legendary icon and genuine Hollywood star. His rugged look, manly demeanor, and no-nonsense style created an archetype of the Western hero that has lasted for decades, and his creative and business endeavors left him with quite a large estate when he eventually passed away. However, despite the fact that his will spread out his estate over many people, there was one rather large omission, his third and final wife. In this video, we'll take a look at that relationship as well as his two previous wives, and we'll take a look at his children as well as some other people who received money in his will. So stick around as Facts First presents John Wayne excluded her from his will in a shocking decision. John's First Wife When John was 19, he went on a date with a girl named Carmen Saints. While the date reportedly went fine, it had a very surprising twist ending. Wayne met Carmen's sister Josephine at some point in the evening and realized he was more interested in her than Carmen, so he began dating Josephine instead. They were considered an odd match at the time because he was 19 and was from a family with not a lot of money, whereas she was only 16 and came from family money. But they didn't let that stop them, and they got married on June 24, 1933. The marriage lasted around seven years without many issues, but in 1940, things changed. Josephine discovered John was having an affair with actress Marlene Dietrich. He was filming a movie with Marlene at the time, and the two had begun a relationship on set. Josephine was heartbroken, yet wanted to give the marriage a second chance. She sought counseling from a priest she knew, and he provided some help. But this turned out to be not enough, and the couple eventually separated and got a divorce. John's Second Wife John and Josephine's divorce was finalized December 26, 1945. And if John was upset about the divorce, he certainly had a hard time showing it, because he married another woman in less than a month. After meeting and falling for a woman named Esperanza Bauer, John married her three weeks later. Esperanza went by the nickname Chata, and Wayne and Chata got married at the Unity Presbyterian Church of Long Beach. This was notable because it's the same church where Wayne's mother got remarried. Ward Bond, a fellow actor, served as John's best man. And despite the fact that it was a quick turnaround from his previous marriage, Wayne was excited to have fallen in love again, at least at first. Things between John and Chata went sour pretty steadily. After going on a honeymoon, the pair returned to L.A. and bought a house in Van Nuys. On Chata's insistence, they set up an extra bedroom for her mother to live in. This caused a rift. As one can imagine, it was likely pretty difficult to build a brand new marriage with someone else living in the household. Chata shared with John that she had an interest in joining him in the acting business. She wanted to start auditioning for movies and hoped John would help her. But John had other ideas. He preferred she not have a career at all and instead stay at home and be a homemaker. As such, she grew resentful and quickly developed a drinking problem. Reportedly, Wayne grew more frustrated with the situation and confided to Ward Bond that he was sick of Chata's mother not only living with them, but constantly speaking only Spanish. He said that not only that, Chata and her mom would commonly take up their marital bed, forcing John to sleep on a living room couch. At one point, Wayne likened their marriage to a science experiment gone wrong. The two finally divorced in 1954. Chata told her side of the story to the media after the divorce, referring to Wayne as abusive and addicted to alcohol. Wayne denied these accusations. Sadly, Chata didn't live too much longer, passing away in 1961 from a heart attack. John's Third Wife The trials and tribulations of his marriages to both Josephine and Chata were not enough to discourage John from the institution itself. In fact, just as he'd done before, Wayne wasted no time after his second divorce before falling in love and marrying yet another woman. He met Pilar Paulette and married her in late 1954, while the ink on his divorce to Chata was still drying. But apparently, their marriage was a happy one to begin with, and didn't suffer from the relative immediate tumult that his first two marriages had. John was diagnosed with late-stage lung cancer in 1964. Sadly, he had to have his left lung removed, as well as four of his ribs. This illness no doubt put a strain on their marriage, though they managed to stick it out through John's illness and subsequent recovery. However, by the time the 1970s rolled around, the two were having issues. As he'd done with Chata, John reacted by devoting more and more time to his work and being on set rather than being home. By 1973, the pair were officially separated. John and his children John had a complex and often tumultuous relationship with his children. 
Throughout his life, he had a total of seven children from three different marriages and various relationships. While he was admired for his on-screen presence and his larger-than-life persona, his role as a father was marked by both moments of closeness and periods of distance. Wayne's first marriage to Josephine produced four children, Michael, Mary Antonia, Patrick, and Melinda. He didn't have additional children with Chata, though that seems reasonable given how quickly that marriage fell apart. But he got started back up with Pilar and had three kids with her, Aisa, John Ethan, and Marissa. John's relationship with his seven kids suffered from the tumult of his various marriages and divorces and also from his schedule as an actor. He often found himself on location for long stretches of time and couldn't be there to help raise them. And at the same time, he made efforts to continue to show love and support to his kids as best he could. Overall, his relationship with his children was a mix of love, support, and at times, distance. Despite the ups and downs, Wayne's children have continued to honor their father's legacy. Many of them have pursued careers in the entertainment industry, with some finding success in acting and other creative endeavors. John's Will According to the Associated Press, John's estate at the time of his death was valued at about $6.85 million. This was split up into $100,000 in income, as well as $5.75 million of personal property. Plus, he had $1 million in real estate property. John had an odd system for deciding how much money each of his kids got. In his will, he stipulated that they each got $5,000 multiplied by the number of years old they were when John passed, minus 21 years. For example, Michael Wayne, who was John's oldest, was 44 when John died. So 44 minus 21 is 23, giving Michael 23 times $5,000 or $155,000. He also took care of his first wife, who received monthly payments of $3,000. Chato is no longer around, so she wasn't in the will. Wayne also left some money to his longtime assistant, Mary St. John. She received $10,000, and he gave thirty k to his assistant, Pat Stacy, with whom he'd allegedly had an affair. One interesting note is that while John's oldest daughter, Ronnie, was part of the will, there was a separate section that expressly prohibited her husband, Don LaCava, from getting any money. It even went on to say he wasn't allowed to collect Tony's share of the money after she died, but it was never explained why there was so much animosity between the two. So the big question that many people have is, why was Pilar excluded from the will? Well, for starters, they had a fairly acrimonious ending to their marriage. John had been getting sick again in the early 70s, which is right when she decided to separate from him. So he was forced to go it alone as his health deteriorated. And despite his rough and rugged exterior and persona, he was still just a man struggling to stay healthy, so he likely felt some resentment. Oddly enough, though, the two never got divorced. She continued to wear her engagement ring John got her long after his death, and yet he felt she shouldn't be included. This is no doubt in part of the animosity, but Wayne's lawyer said it also was because the two had a separation agreement years before his death that likely included some monetary exchange. So it's likely that while Pilar wasn't in the will and didn't inherit any of his estate, she had been paid at least some money in the separation. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you surprised John didn't include his third wife in his will? Let us know in the comments section below.